Yeah, you know, it was the same type of effort tonight, and uh, you know, I think, like we said, it's pretty good. the same period and uh, the other men do it again tonight and do it consistently. Uh, you know, we get rewarded differently, and so the guys came ready to battle tonight and uh, worked hard, played the game the right way. We had good goaltending again, D were good, uh, forwards worked hard, and the uh, end result was a nice victory. Well, Radek Dvorak, we talked about him a little bit before. And he just wanted to see if he had his wheels and all that when he came here. But, you know, it's hard not to notice. He, he does have a little bit of instincts around the net finishing. And that, that could go a long way, I would think, this year. Oh, yeah. I mean, when he, you know, when he first came in the league, you know, as a drop pick, he was, uh, you know, able to produce offensively in that. And back, uh, back when I first played with him there. Uh, uh, and then over time, he's matured as a hockey player. And he's, his longevity, I think, has a lot to do with the fact that he's, you know, adapted and became a two-way forward. And, uh, that's what we grab for. We get some young forwards up there, and he brings uh, stability and some calmness to that line, and uh, plays the game the right way there. And, but uh, give him the opportunity. You know, he, he can score. He's got great skill, and uh, he's, you know, obviously a bit a great addition uh, over the first two games that uh, you know that we've added to our to our group of uh, young forwards. Can you talk about Skinner's game? Is that one of the better games that you've seen since you've been coaching this team, both ends of the ice for you? Yeah, their chemistry of the line is, is great right now, and uh, you know it's they're, they're working, they're working both uh, ends of the ice, and it's amazing. Uh, you know they get the puck more, they get more chances, uh, opportunities together, and uh, I'm really pleased with his uh, his game tonight. You know he was he was more tenacious on the puck, uh, he created more, uh, and he and he worked hard without the puck, and, and that's a, that's the the type of game we want from him. And um, I thought he uh, I thought he had a really strong game. Tonight. Follow up, uh, talk about Murphy's game, uh, particularly uh, his use on the power play. With so much time that he had. Yeah, I mean, you know, coming into the season, I mean, the question mark was where was he at? Is he capable of playing against some of the, the guys here on the five, the five, you know, five on five hockey? <coughs> uh, we know that he, uh, you know, he brings an offensive skill, and he's still young. He's still, you know, he's just going to get better and better, and more uh, confident back there and comfortable. But so far, he's. Uh, He's held his own. He's played ball five and five, and, um, and he's uh, we're, we certainly have a lot of confidence in him that he can go and get the job done and just play. Yes, because Irvin uh, got his uh, probably thinking is get him involved, make him feel like part of the team quick, and did his part, didn't he? Exactly. You know, it's uh, you know you don't want to let him sit uh, too long. You know, it's uh, you know Cam did a great job you know, opening night, and we just said you know we you know based on camp uh, we felt confident. With and then be able to jump in like this. And hey, you know, you have two fresh goalies, uh, you know, and they can, you can win hockey games for you. That, that's, a, that's a great thing. And um, they both gave us a chance to win both nights. Um, obviously, a different result the other, but nothing to do with camp. So uh, now we get to go into Pittsburgh with a rested goalie and, uh, and um, just get ready to go right back at it. Do you imagine you'll continue to rotate them, or would you stick with camp for a while here and let him get some games? <laughs> We said, you know, we honestly we said we do it one game at a time right now. Like, uh, you know, we, you know, we got uh, we got tough opponents coming up. Two uh, explosive offensive uh, guys in the back to back with LA coming back here. So, I think the, we really want to just, uh, you know, not uh, put it on paper too early, and, and uh, you know, but use both of them early on here to, to stay fresh, and then just see how it kind of evolves and. I think a lot of it has to do with the scheduling, too. Yeah, but he came back, and, you know, uh, that's, that's the type of, type of hockey players we want here. You know, he's he got banged up, and he came back on the bench and says, I'm ready to play again. And, um, you know, hey, we love it. That's, that's the kind of character and guys that are willing to play through that stuff uh, that we want to see with our group. Shift, especially right after the Flyers have scored. Yeah, they, they kind of turn it. Yeah, you know what? Uh, you know, um, uh, Philly went down the short end bench, obviously, uh, trailing late. Uh, but as far as we were hoping that it was a four line type game uh, tonight because uh, we feel we feel we can throw four lines out there right now. And they did a great job. They brought energy. They had some great shifts. Uh, you know, both games actually. And um, you know. You know, Sutter's doing a, a good role right now, killing some penalties and that, and uh, Lindy on the power play, and you know, I'm sure Bo will get some more time in different spots coming up. But uh, you know, 
you know, it's it, it's nice. It's nice having a, a fourth line to go and uh, play need some minutes and play hard. Obviously, if you were, someone told you you could get three points from the first game to that one to stall to lose the seven line scoring, you feel pretty good about that. Do you have any concerns about the number of chances they're creating at this point? No, because I think uh, I think the positive is the other guys are playing hard and uh, and, and that's that's a nice sign. Um, I think. They're, they're a line that's out of sync right now. And, uh, you know, with Sam's missing a lot of camp, and Eric with his injury last year, and Yuri getting hurt, all three of them got dinged up, uh, you know, at different spots. Um, you, know, they, you know, they had great chemistry as we all knew last year. We just got to get them back in sync and, uh, you know, get they're just a little step behind right now. And, you know, that's enough of the difference of, you know, the opportunities that sometimes they've had. I mean, Sevens hit the post the first game, different things like that. So I think what they got to do is just play the game the right way still. And uh, once they get their timing, get their conditioning a little bit better, uh, 